In this video, we're given three different functions, a, b, and c, and we want to calculate the average rate of change of each of the functions on the interval uh, 1 to 4, and then we're going to compare them. And to calculate the average rate of change, we're going to bring in the uh, slope formula when we have y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, or you could think of this as the change in y divided by the change in x. Either one works. So the first thing that we're going to do in function a is just find out where this interval is, 1 to 4. And that's again referring to our x values because it's on the domain. So I know that my x value is 1 right there, and then my x value is 4 right there. So we're going to find the, the change from uh, this point of the curve to this one right here. Now, we'll treat this point as the second one, and then we could treat this one as the first one. So now we want to find the change in y2 to the change in y1. Or I should just say the change from 2.856 to uh, 1.3. So we want to subtract those. And then we're going to divide that by the change in my x-coordinates. So the second x-coordinate was 4, and the uh, first x-coordinate right there is 1. So we're just going to do 4 minus 1. And if I do that in my calculator, I'm going to get an approximation, and it's going to be 0 0.519, and that's an estimation. Now we'll move on to function b, and we're going to go about it the same way. Uh, we want to find that interval first, so from x equals 1 to 4. So you can see that x equals 1 there, and x equals 4 right there. We'll call uh, this one our second coordinate, and then this one will be our first one. And usually we go, um, this is kind of like a rule of thumb, you go with the larger uh, x value first, and then uh, the first coordinate would then be the, the lower x value. So I guess I should say that this one is really the second coordinate. Anyways, um, we're going to find the change in y. So this is our y variable here, and we're going to take this and subtract it by our first y value here. We're going to do the same thing with the x's. So that's my second x value, and that's my first one. So I'm going to divide this, and it's going to be the change in my x values. This approximation is going to be about 1.6512. And lastly, we have function c. Now, we don't have a table or a graph, so we don't have any points to work with. So you have two options. Uh, the first one is you could graph it on a calculator. And you could maybe notice the points, like this one right here. Or you could pull up a table, and you could find the points this way. So either way would result in graphing. Um, or you could do it algebraically. So we could plug in our x values that we want to use, which would be 1 and 4, and we could get our y. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I rewrote the equations here, and I plugged in 1 and then 4 for my x values use the calculator and I got my answers is 1.4 and also 3.8416 so that would be like if I just took the points from the table or the graph same thing now I'm gonna treat this pair of coordinates uh, as my second one and then this one is gonna be my first one so like the others I will find the change in uh, my y value so I'm gonna take 3.8416 and subtract by 1.4 and then I'm going to take the change in my x values, which means I have to divide it and then take that change. So it's going to be 4 minus 1. And if I do all those calculations, I'm going to get about 0 0.814. And that's going to be an estimation. So now I want to go and compare all these. Um, I want to find the, sm no, it says the largest to smallest. So l the largest average rate of change on the domain of the interval 1 to 4 is going to be this one right here that's the largest the one in the middle then is going to be function c with that rate and then function a is going to be the slowest with the average rate of change of 0 